What's up with it, man? So we gonna get straight. We gonna get straight into this, right? Well, we're part of the crew. Um, first, first thing I want to say is, um, um, my condolences go out to the families of um, Cliff Dixon and um. And Nepsey Hustle. Alright. Now let's get to this money, man. First thing I wanna um I wanna touch bases on like um how everybody be like, oh rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, rest in peace, all that. Like, don't, 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 don't be on that rest in peace bandwagon, right? Because y'all not with rest in peace for real, man. Like, in real life, man, like half of the dudes, and I guess I'm not talking to everybody, so if the shoe fit, you know, put it on Cinderella, you know? But, um, a lot of, a lot of, uh, the, the, the artists, the rappers, this is all we, all we hear in the music is, you know, uh, kill, 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 murder, maim, rob. This, that's it. That's, that's all we hear. You know what I mean? Just put six in my enemy head for no reason. I only, you, you I only know half y'all don't even know. You know how, how y'all even got enemies. You know what I mean? Um, but this is the kind of stuff that we listen to, and this is the kind of stuff that we promote. You know, and, and I'm guilty of it too. So don't get it twisted. You know what I mean? Um, but it's. When tragic situations come like come like this, it, it just start to make you just think for a second, right? All right, you got you got people that that's running around like real life with like with guns, right? Real life with guns. All right, and 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 I know you're supposed to protect yourself because I'm definitely you know for the most part gonna try to protect myself. So we all in the same shoot with that, right? But. A lot of y'all, we living in a time where, like, um, like y'all can see, y'all can see, man, the police beating the shit out of a little girl, man. And, you know, outside of a little rant and social media, ain't nobody gonna get no guns. Ain't nobody gonna uh, take care of that situation. Everybody give a fuck about their freedom and shit like that. You know what I mean? We'll sit here and talk about, you know, all the, you know, social injustice and the different things. But like when real life, y'all put out, pull out your phone and start taping. It be like real life call dudes that call themselves like gangsters. Like what happens like when when your brother get the shit whipped out on by the police and uh, uh different things of that nature. Like man, where where the gangsters at then? Like where the gangsters at then? Where where the gangsters when when we need the gangsters? You know? Like all that love loving a nigga or loving a person when it don't count, man, say that shit, man. Real life, we living in a time where man, um, like we we, we glorify dudes, not like, no disrespect, like Jay Prince, right? He just took out his time to send dudes from Houston all the way to New York, right? For a goddamn chain, no disrespect to Jay Prince, but this is what he did. I'm a whole man too, right? He ain't gonna hear me say this. I'm a little nigga compared to him, right? But y'all hear me though, right? Okay. He sent dudes all the way to New York to get a chain back because he felt like, you know, he was disrespected, you know, his crew, you know, he don't go for that, you know. And I grew up listening to rap a lot. I love Scarface. I love Willie D. I have respect for Jay Prince because of some of the things he done, right? But then, all in the same flip, you got the dude like George Zimmerman or whatever fuck his name is. He's still walking around and shit, though. But you send niggas all the way over there to get a goddamn chain. Like when I'm talking about like where where the when, where's that where that same gangster energy at when it comes when it's important and when it's important to use, right? Because like we all got that uh, uh, a certain amount of uh, energy in us to like to become very aggressive. But the people that's in charge of, that's teach that should teach us how to use that aggression, you know, they, they use it. I think they use it for the fucking wrong wrongest reasons, man. You know, it's like 
I, I don't get it. You know what I mean? We out here, you know, talking about uh, living by codes and shit like that, right? And that shit cool, but I don't even know what the code is. What the fuck is the code now? Like, because outside of stop snitching, right, what other codes do you got? Like, in real life situations, this is what I'm saying, right? We always sit in Black Lives Matter, fuck white people, all this shit, right? You know, fuck the police, fuck the system, right? But real life, when I'm sitting around in the projects or wherever I like to be chilling at, you know, I like being around my people, right? I'm not thinking about no motherfucking police walking up to me, shoot me in the goddamn head. It's one of you niggas, man. <laughs> it's a nigga that look just like me. It's a nigga that I done fed. It's a nigga that I done, I done took care of. It's a nigga that I done gave good advice to. You see what I'm saying? It be you. Y'all niggas is walking around walking genocide, man. No bullshit. And this is not directed to everybody. But like I said, if the shoe fit, then put it on, Cinderella. Because, like, in real life, in real time, right, y'all dudes will walk outside with a gun on your hip, right, and come outside and let the police take it from you. You'll catch a whole gun charge. But you came outside with the gun to defend yourself. The gun is an illegal gun. So you, by any means necessary, you're going to protect yourself, right? But when the police come, for some odd reason, they get the gun off you the easiest kind of way. But let your brother try to take the gun or you put 10 in his head. Like, y'all niggas got the game fucked up. Y'all really got it way fucked up, man. Like, y'all sit out here and, 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 and be all aggressive and defensive to people who look like you, to you, who you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't no goody-goody, right? But at the end of the day, fuck that. At the beginning of the day, man, we got to start seeing things from another narrative. We got to start saying, like, all right, it's nothing wrong with walking around with your gun, dog. That ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm saying who you pointing that motherfucker at, though. You know what I mean? It's like, y'all be so easy to gas up to go hurt somebody that's helping motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? But, but when... It's a real problem that come in our community that's outside of the camouflage of black skin. Y'all niggas act like y'all don't understand that they is an enemy. You know, they ain't did nothing to me and this and that and the other. Like, man, lose me and miss me with all that weak ass shit, man. Y'all niggas be, you know, smoking and taking all these motherfucking selfies and putting all this Instagram glamour, uh, uh, all these goddamn guns and ones and shit, right? But when it's time to spend some money to go to war, or is this meaning like to help people, you know what I mean? Going against the grain, like, these days is like helping people when it's time to do shit like that or it's time to go to war with people that's like let the police come in in your neighborhoods and fucking defile your motherfucking mother they'll disrespect y'all on any shape form and fashion and y'all will just turn the fucking cheek with that shit right but let a nigga step on your shoe or some shit he got to die he got to fry and goodbye and i ain't lying and put all that shit in the rap and try to make money off that shit y'all niggas selling genocide y'all living in the motherfucking box and i'm i'm just trying to say man losing me with that rest in peace shit man y'all niggas quick to say rest in peace and show so much love when a nigga did but y'all be the same motherfucker pointing a gun to a nigga head man real life man world war polo entertainment group man we out here man